A Visual Trader's Studio Training Video Using VTS Variable Elements A VTS Variable Element is a graphical representation of an MQL variable. Almost all programming languages support the concept of a data variable. A variable is used to store some information that will be used at a later time. Variables are often used to store configuration data, like the number of periods to use when determining an RSI indicator value. Another use for a variable would be as a comparison level. For example, a variable can be created and called the RSI, open by, level. New VTS variables can be added to the pad by clicking the New Elements pane on the toolbox selecting the variable icon and dragging it onto the pad. Also, a variable can be added by right-clicking the mouse and selecting the variable item from the menu. Either of these methods will add a new variable element to the pad. A variable element has a single input link and a single output link. All VTS elements including the variable element, have three buttons along the bottom. These buttons can be selected with a single mouse click. The question mark button on the bottom left of the element will open a help file when selected. The eye icon on the bottom middle of the element will open a window that displays information about the various forms of source code. At this time, this information is only used by VTS engineers. The most important button is the plus button in the bottom right of the element. It is used to configure the variable. Selecting the plus button will display the variable configuration window. There are two tabs on the variable configuration window. The settings tab and the Assignment tab. The Settings tab is used to set the variable type and scope. The variable type defines the kind of data that will be stored in the variable. The VTS data types are Double. The double data type is a real number. A real number means the number has a decimal point. The balance of an MT account is a real number such as 10,000.99. String. The string data type is one or more characters, such as a word or a phrase. Integer. The integer data type is a whole number. A whole number means the number doesn't have a decimal point. For example, the number of total closed trades is an integer, such as 0, 1, 2, etc. There is no concept of 1.5 closed trades. Therefore, an integer type could be used to store a value for the number of closed trades. Boolean. A Boolean type is one of two values, true or false. Date and time. The date time data type is used to store calendar dates and times. The data type itself is actually an integer. The current time is an integer whose value is the number of seconds elapsed since midnight, January 1, 1970. This is a common approach, used in many computer languages, to define the current time. Color. The color data type is actually an integer type. This data type is defined to make color assignments easier. A variable's type is set by selecting the type with your mouse. The Scope tab is used to set the variable scope. The word scope is used in computer programming to define the visibility of a data structure. The levels of variable scope in VTS are Extern. An extern variable is available as input when the expert is attached to an MT price chart. Global. A global variable saves its value between program starts and stops. 
system. A system variable is accessible from within any function of the system. Function. A function variable is only accessible from the function where it is defined. Flag. A flag variable is used to send information to an MQL function. Its value is only read from once. Parameter. A parameter variable is used to send or receive data to, or from, a function. The variable is only accessible from within the function where it is defined. The assignment tab is used to assign a value to a variable. Selecting the arrow on the assignment text box displays a menu tree. The variable menu contains all of the existing variables. They are organized within a menu by the system where they were originally created. There is also a menu that contains variables for any functions that have been created within the system. When a VTS function that calculates a numeric value is defined, a variable of the same name, with a prefix of VAR, is created to hold the function's value. The MQL menu contains MQL built-in variables such as ask, bid, etc. Any of the menu items can be assigned to the variable by selecting and clicking the item. The Enter a value menu is used to assign a literal value to the variable. Double-clicking the menu will display an entry window. The Save button is used to save the current configuration of the variable. Also, Save As is used to save the current configuration of the variable to a new name. After a variable has been saved, it is available from the toolbox to be reused if needed. User variables can be deleted by selecting the variable in the toolbox and right-clicking. This will display a window to permanently delete the variable. Note. Some system variables are read-only and cannot be deleted. This concludes the Using VTS Variable Elements training video. Thank you for watching and please see my other training videos for more information on using the Visual Trader Studio for MetaTrader.